Have you ever wondered where your garden center gets their plants from? The answer is everywhere. But there are benefits to buying local. So today I'm going to a nursery and I'm going to check out plants like these, how they are planted, how they're grown, and how they make it to your garden. I'm in Rhode Island at a fourth generation family owned nursery that distributes over 125 different plants to horticultural centers across New England. I'm here today with Bruce Vanasek and he's going to show me around. Guess what? His grandfather started this place in 1895. So Bruce, what kind of plants do you specialize in here? Well, we grow a lot of different plants with boxwood and hollies, but we truly specialize in yews not use like use guys it's y-e-w-s exactly so they're a great plant a durable plant they're evergreen yeah they give a lot of structure and that highlights all the other plants in your garden well that's great so i would love to see the whole process of how they start from little babies so you want to give me a tour absolutely we'll start at the greenhouse all right let's check it out so i'm excited to see greenhouse number one so the first part in growing a new plant is propagation. Absolutely. We make cuttings, and as you see, we can put them in these sand benches with bottom heat. Mm -hmm. We put quite a few in here. We do about 40,000 ewes a year. It's incredible. So, yeah, we make the cutting and dip it in rooting hormone and stick it in the sand, and six months later, we got roots. See, it's fascinating because most people think it starts from a seed, but you can start a plant from a cutting. So if I were to pull this up, There's all Look your roots. That. So you take each one of these individually and each one of these becomes your shrub. Absolutely. It's just, it's fascinating. This is potted into stages into ground along the way and then 10 years, we'll have a shrub. Our next stage is the beds where they'll stay for two years and I can show you that. All right, let's go check it out. So now we're at the beds and this is where all the cuttings are planted, correct? Yep, we're okay. putting them in, put them in this plant machine which is uh, plant six rows at a time one by one each cutting is put into these slots and slowly this tractor goes and plants them in the dirt and they'll stay in that spot for two years so this is a big nurturing process so let's see this thing roll Okay, so these plants have been in the bed for two years, planted by that planter. I see mulch for protection for soil and moisture, and there's overhead watering? Correct. We okay. also have to weed when the weeds do pop up through the mulch. Okay. And we also have to trim the plants. We need to keep them nice and tight. Right, because if you didn't prune them, they would grow up tall and leggy, and that's not a sellable plant. When you prune it, it gets nice and fat and tight and round and it makes a quality plant for the customer. Excellent. So after these beds, what stage do they graduate to? Uh, we go to liner stage and that's across the island. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we're five miles across the island and this is the liner bed. Could totally see why. Yeah, we took them out of the beds and we spaced them out because it's time to give them more space for both their tops and the roots. Mm -hmm. These plants are now five years old. They will stay in this phase for three years, and every time we transplant them, we trim the roots so that the roots stay nice and tight and compact. Pruning the roots is just as important as pruning the tops. Yeah, so we like to keep that root nice and tight like that. Right, um, so should way, I give a little prune it? Yeah, give a little prune there. So at the final packaging, they're gonna have to fit in this container or a root ball? They'll be in a B&B &B root ball, right. and that increases the success of your transplant. And it's a stronger, healthier plant. Absolutely. So cool. Next step will be the check planted phase. Okay. And they're gonna be big and beautiful. Okay, so this is the area where they stay the longest, right? This is called check planted stage. They're planted three feet by three feet. So they are got plenty of room and they stay here for four years and then we dig them up and we ship them. Also question, is this the variety your grandfather started? Absolutely, this is probably one of the most popular varieties out there. This is Taxus densiformis, mm -hmm. um, a variety he found probably in the 1940s. Okay, Selected. that's fascinating. Yep. 
So what do you have to do to keep it in this space? Right. If you're putting a landscape and you want to maintain the size, you basically want to trim them. Usually the end of May, beginning of June, when they're about this size, about an inch of new growth. Okay. And you want to trim that new growth so that it basically slows down the plant, but at the same time it continues to grow and it flushes out and looks natural for the rest of the year. And it's so important because if you let a couple seasons go, the plant will go out of whack and it really loses its shape, right? So thus the densiformis right here, you package it up and it's probably easier for transport and selling at the nursery. Absolutely. So where do we go next from here after the four years? Well, we're gonna go ball and burlap and dig some up. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so this is the final stage where the ewes are balled and burlapped. This is the stage where I purchase the plants to give to my landscape clients. Yep, yeah, we're harvesting here. And, uh, you know, as we do it, we tighten, we take all those roots, package it up, and it's tied up on top to protect it during shipping. The root pruning really has to fit tight with inside that ball. And then these are great to hold so you don't break the branches of the plant, right? Yep. So I would love to see one dug with the spade. Sure. That's our 10 year old plant. Yep, see the few roots we gotta trim off. Right, because they have to fit inside the burlap. We're wrapping burlap around it, then we tie it to secure the burlap to it, and we stand it up and it's ready to go on somebody's truck. Ready for sale. Bruce, I just wanna thank you for showing me the entire process. It's so important to know where your shrubs come from and how they grow and how you take care of them. Well, we appreciate you coming down and visiting us, and you're welcome back anytime. Thanks. I'll be back. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.